right of right of right you can back our repair here we are on the, another one we got a I think it's an 08 can't see the tag I'm pretty sure it's an 08 uh, manufacturer uh, yeah I can't see it anyway I think it's an 08 it's a Viper 150R uh, Eaton uh, it's got a transmission problem forgive the wind it's uh hang on we'll kill you <laughs> I bet the 25 mile an hour wind gusts. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can get the cover off here and uh, <coughs> take a look at the transmission. Uh, here we pulled off the step, step down there. Uh, yeah, it's got a got an issue somewhere here in the. I'm guessing the tranny. Uh, just goes in gear, but it doesn't move anywhere. But, uh, once in a while, it's like surges, like it wants to move, but it won't, it won't move. We're guessing the. We're hoping that the problem's in this cover right here. It's the belt drive system for the thing. I'm hoping the keyway or something broken on it, but can't tell until we take a look. Uh, don't know where we're going to set you up today. Like I said, it's really windy. Let's try up here. Hang on. I'll bring you back when I can find a place to put you. Alright, we found a spot to put you. Forgive me if it's a little, <coughs> little shaky at times. It's hooked to the <coughs> guy, guy wire cable off the telephone pole here. <laughs> anyway, see if we can find the socket that fits these. Go. Probably an eight millimeter. Man, that wind is ripping. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think we're doing a, a video in the middle of a tornado. Holy cow! I'm guessing it's got a little bit more than 25. Wow. It's kind of like a hurricane coming through. Uh, try to get the clamps off here. The vents for the clutch system. There we go. There were different tires. There were sevens. Oh, look at that wind. It's kicking. Uh, we'll hopefully, make this a short video. Just a take a quick look. Working using my new tools here. Got my uh, M12 ratchet. See, where's this thing hooked? All right, it's hooked to the frame. Uh, let's see if we get that bolt out. Take the two, there's an air tube over here on the back. Uh, one takes in the air, one lets out the air for the blow the dust out of the clutch system here. Of course, that one's a tan. Uh. Like I said, I'm sorry for the wind. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't get this thing in the garage. Boy, I love this ratchet. I can put the bolt back in up here so I don't lose it. She looked like she was crossed right there one time. Put that one back here. That one's easy. That one's just a rubber tube. See, I'm hoping it's a keyway on the clutch system, but I have a feeling the clutch came apart. <coughs> but we gotta take a look because you can't get can't get nothing over oh, there unless I uh, take it apart here. Let's see how this ratchet uh, Beautiful. I should have done this a long time ago. Watching the other YouTubers, they got a, they got these M12s. I decided let's give it a shot. How many bolts this thing got? Fifty. Of course, it's all ice and mud out here, so hard to kneel down.
A little tiny ratchet, this thing's a beast. I didn't even crack that one loose. That's what's tight. Wait, one more to go. Let me get the ground wire off the back here and we'll take a look. Sorry, my head's in the camera. If I put the camera too far away with this wind, you'll never hear me. Even with the even with the sock on the on the on the microphone. It's just wicked. Good, good, good. So far, they're all the same. Yep, last one. Beautiful, they're all the same. This one. I missed the screw. No, nah, she's just being, she's being stubborn. Got dowel pins. Bring you back when I beat this thing off. Hang on. All right, we got it off. I had to go get a screwdriver. It's got a, I'll show you. Got dowel pins on it. Kickstart. That's just gasket. Anyway, it's got dowel pins on the, on the bottom corners here. So they were fighting a little bit. Oh, this ain't good. The clutch is all together. But why is this spinning so easy? I think the clutch is broken on the side. I'll fire up and uh, put it in gear. Wow. <laughs> that kind of wind blows is really high. I think I'm going to lose something. He got some internal problems in the tranny. We got the. That's a big part two of this video. Oh yeah. Does not look fun to get apart. We got to get this clutch off and stuff and uh, take a look at the inside. But we just figured we'd give you a quick look at the the RV picked up out here in the. In the New York uh, winter hurricane. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna check it off. Just checking out to see if my motor is still standing, but it's still standing. Alright, we're gonna get the cover back on and uh, we're gonna leave this in until uh, we get a little warmer weather here, but we figured we'd give you a little sneak peek at the Colpin. See what you guys saw it. You need some work. Rear kickstart system. It grabs just a little cog down here. This kickstart system and it grabs just a little cog on the inside, but I see all the gaskets have been broken off. But somebody else has been in here. They've already looked. I know that it uh, had some damage. Definitely something in the tranny. We'll get it straightened out and uh, get her back uh, going. Get the cover back on here. Leave it open. Take it easy. Get a couple of them in.
I go back and forth here. I'm gonna break something. Get the one up here with the ground wire on it. He's going back in. Ah, I see a problem. The one over here with the galpin's not going on. Back some of these off. Galpin's not lined up on this side. That's why I didn't tighten it. <laughs> There she goes. Let's get that one in. We got it now. Just putting all the screws back in here. We don't want to have to track this stuff down. It might sit for another month, month and a half now. Because of the weather. Just wanted to show that uh, the backyard repair does fix all the things besides uh, snowblowers. <coughs> Trying to make sure we remember to shut that key off. Come out here the next time the battery will be dead. We don't need to over tighten these because uh, there's a cover on this. Not like it's sitting out here in the exposed to the weather. Make sure I get all the, the tubes back on because if not, we'll have a house, a house, a open the house for the mice. That one, this one might be a little more difficult. Of course, we dropped the bolt. <laughs> Let's see what you do. Here we drop the bolt and then we drop it way back underneath. Bad enough I'm kneeling on a nice block here. That one's been stripped before. This one's going on. That back. Try to put my socket back. I'll show you what I'm kneeling on in a second here. So we're in kind of a hurry to try to put this back together and even though this is weather is not cooperating, the wind's not cooperating, tools aren't cooperating. <sighs> That back, that back, that in there. Right, there you have it, keep back together. There's the port, port well. Just sit in here, I don't need it back on. Sit on the right. Anyway, there you go. Show you what we'll be nailing on. This is dedication to getting someone fixed or diagnosing them. There's what we're nailing on. Solid ice <laughs> and muddy. That's clean right there where I was kneeling. Matter of fact, this is a print for my knee. Anyway, there it is. We diagnosed this not. It's not in the clutch side of something. We turn it on the transmission. That means, uh, I don't know if it's split, but it looks like it splits here. It looks like uh, really one line. See if we can find some parts. Uh, definitely needs, uh, it's got some training issues. But we'll get it fixed up. Anyway, if you got any information on us, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. 
catch some pictures of parts, projects, funny videos, maybe just some pictures of nature, videos of uh, dumb things I see around the area, <laughs> uh, especially on my Instagram. Anyway, uh, well, have a good day, stay warm, and peace! Here we'll give you a sneak of the motorcycle. Way over there on the other side of the track. Let's see if I can zoom in. We'll get back to that as soon as the engine comes back from the shop. Let's get the full rebuild. From, from crank all the way to the top end. It'll be a good one. So, you know, when we get that motor back, we'll do a video of getting that reinstalled. If you go back on my uh, my YouTube, you'll see, uh, you'll see uh, videos of me tearing that bike now. Anyway, we're out here. Peace.